CBS 2 was always investigating, and tonight we uncovered the neglect of an official county registry meant to prevent convicted animal abusers from buying pets. Our Tara Molina learned the Cook County Sheriff's Office's database has never been used for years. Tara, how is that even possible? Brad, that's the question that the Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart wants answered tonight. His office is pointing at the county clerk's office and the judge's office. So who dropped the ball? Because we know who's paying the price. Seconds later, a man on Chicago's south side poured this pot of boiling water on a cat. The video went viral. He went to prison. But you won't find his name in the county's animal abuser registry or any others. This was created by a county ordinance three years ago. It's up on the Cook County Sheriff's Department's website, meant to prevent convicted animal abusers from adopting or buying a pet. But we've confirmed through Freedom of Information Act requests, there's nothing in it, nothing. We checked for Gerald Jeske, the Westtown man who told his wife, you love those dogs more than you love me before throwing two chihuahuas off the balcony. One died, the other never found. <laughs> Not even Leon Teague, the man who poured that scalding water on a cat for a Facebook video, a felony crime. We have an amazing tool that should be utilized. Um, <laughs> I, I sort of speechless. Heather Weedman runs an animal rescue. She does checks on people looking to adopt. I started noticing that when you put in Chicago, which is one of the ways you could search, no names have been coming up at all. Sheriff Tom Dart's office responding to our requests with a statement. Quote, animal abuse is a serious crime, and we are concerned that no one has registered under the ordinance. We've reached out to the county clerk's office and the judiciary to determine who should have registered. Once we have that information, we will be able to immediately begin enforcing the requirements of the ordinance. An ordinance that directs the judge to order offenders to register and directs the county clerk to share that information with the sheriff's office. Tonight, it's unclear why that information hasn't made it here. It makes me very angry that People work to get this passed and rescues like us were ecstatic for it when it passed and it's literally just been sitting there for three years. We never heard back from the county clerk's office tonight. The chief judge's office told us they are reviewing the matter. Of course, we'll follow up. Reporting live in the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Brad? Tara Molina, our thanks.